Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you all for joining us. <coughs> we are joined by Danny Pippen, Jalen Avery, and head coach Rob Senderoff. We'll start us off with an opening statement. Well, listen, uh, big win, obviously, for us late, late in the season. Um, you know, to, to me, the story of the game was 33% field goal defense. I, I just saw it. I didn't even see it earlier. But in the second half, 21% uh, field goal defense. So uh, for us, you know, we, we have to play that way uh, to win. And, um, you know, tonight we did that. It was great to see. Uh, it certainly wasn't our best offensive performance, but the, the key to, to a, having a good team is being able to win when you're not playing very well offensively. So uh, we did that tonight. Obviously, Danny made some huge plays, Jalen with the free throws. And uh, we had a lot of big plays by a lot of guys that, uh, you know, you don't see in the stat sheet because we didn't score a ton. But um, those are the plays that help you win games when you're able to win 64-63. Questions for the players. Jalen, can you talk about the, your last play? Was it designed for you, or just did you go on your own toward the basket? Uh, well, we worked on that. We worked on that play all the time in uh, practice. And uh, pretty much, I had I know I had Jaywalk in the corner. And nine times out of 10, I know teams aren't going to leave Jaywalk. So I felt like I was going to be able to get to the basket. You know, and that's what I did. Is it like? <clears throat> In football, you always see the two-minute offense or one-minute offense you're trying to get it down the field. Is it, uh, do you work on those plays just within like 10 seconds or five seconds left in, left in both either the half or in regulation to get that final shot off? Yeah, definitely. We work on those plays all the time, so we're, um, we're ready for those situations. You know, we have a bunch of different plays for um, times like that, and we, we try to execute tonight. Danny, uh, that's the second time you faced uh, Wiggins and he is a load inside. How did you try? Yes, he had a double double, but how did you try and def you and Adonis and all the rest of the bigs to defend him a lot of the night? Well, I just try to stay in front of him. Um, I know my teammates had the over the top help, so I just used our regular defensive principles. He got a couple buckets, but when it came down to it, he didn't get nothing. He had a little a little layup, but we won the game, so. I mentioned Turner uh, Wiggins, but I would like to ask either comment about Turner again. He's probably one of the best uh, first-year players in the MAC this season. You faced him twice. He's a load to guard. Yeah, he's a good player, and uh, they, they're a good team. So all together, they um, they have a lot of talent on their team. So when we come out and we play, we just have to worry about ourselves. Really can't worry about you know everybody else and what you know what other team have. We just gotta try to execute and be the best Kent State that we can be. And the end of these games now is kind of turned into your time. Let's talk about that, you know, that progression now that you're a junior and kind of the leader of the team type thing. Um, I just think that's a point guard thing. I think, you know, being a point guard, you have to be able to step up in, in clutch situations. You have to make free throws. That's my job, you know, to be able to, you know, um, uplift my team when we're, you know, not playing as well, you know, as we can. So, you know, that's just my job as a point guard. Are you trying to get to the line in those situations? Or is it just, you know, I'm, yeah, just being aggressive. I'm just trying to attack to the rim. I'm trying to, you know, just get a bucket in. I just happened to go to the line today. Danny, you had six blocks tonight. Most of them came in the last minute. How important is it for you to sort of be there on the defensive end when you were kind of struggling from outside the game on offense? I mean, I was just trying to impact the game in the best way I can. And blocking is really my thing. That's what I do. I don't know. I was just trying to be everywhere. And that's what we needed tonight, so I came through. Is there any frustration when you can get two or three blocks in a row and then somehow they still find a way to get the bucket, especially late there? I mean... A little bit, but hey, we won. No big. Anything else for the players? All right, thank you guys. All right, fellas. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, Open it up for questions. Rod, in the second half, did you change anything defensively? Uh, no, we we just did a. In my eyes, I think we did a better job in transition. Um, you know, I, I, in the first half, a lot of their baskets were transition baskets. And, uh, you know, I, I thought we tried to do a good job defensively in the first half. Uh, but when you give up as many transition baskets as you do, it really breaks down your defense. And the percentage-wise, obviously, there's a big difference. Uh, but to me, I think it starts with, with our ability in the second half to have gotten back in transition and make it harder for them. And that was what I was going to ask you. When you were making it, the transition defense wasn't – getting it was more not allowing them to yeah. get back in transition or 
being ready so they didn't have numbers to attack. Do you see what I'm yeah, um, Or is, is it actually well, a combination? Yeah, a combination. It? You know, I think in the first half, there were a couple of times where we scored and we're jogging back and they're pushing the ball up our back. And we played them already. It actually cost us uh, – <coughs> in our first game against them. They had a couple of huge baskets against us in the second half after our makes. Um, and we just didn't do a great job with it in the first half. And in the second half, it was a point that we made at, in halftime, but it was also a point we made prior to the game starting too. So, uh, you know, we, we did a good job in the second half at, at, do, at getting back and making them play half court. Um, and I'm sure there's a couple baskets that, you know, in the first half they made that maybe they don't normally make or in the second half that they miss that they don't normally miss. But that's that's the game, right? So um, we just had to do a real – we did a very good job making it a half-court game in the second half, and, and I think that that helped us. Like right, yeah. <laughs> so it's another close game down the stretch. Can you just sort of talk about things Listen, I, I say this. <laughs> I'm sort of used to that here. Uh, we have a ton of close games, and uh, you know we've been fortunate that you know there's some times where we haven't made the plays, but tonight we made the plays that we needed to. Um, you know, obviously Jalen Avery some huge bat, uh, free throws and getting fouled, and Kevin Zabo hit a big three. Um, you know, and for the most part we got stops late in the game too when we needed to. I know the one possession they had a couple offensive rebounds, but. Um, you know, overall, I thought obviously the the overall defense was was what it needs to be to be successful. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, with eight seconds to go, you're going to give the ball to the point guard, right? Like that's what you're going to do. And uh, we have a play that we run late clock, late game. If we're in that situation and during the timeout, you know, we sort of reminded them that that's what we're doing. Um, and, you know, there's a, a couple options off the play, and Jalen Avery was able to turn the corner a little bit. And like he said, when you have Jalen Walker in the strong side corner, it's uh, he's not an easy guy to leave. So it allowed Jalen to sort of get to the rim. But, um, you know, late in the game, the point guard has to be able to make those type of plays. Rob, with three, with, after Avery made the foul shots, uh, they moved it up quickly, but I was – I don't know how anybody else did, but I was so surprised it was Lillard from the way outside to try and win the game. Yeah. Uh, Wiggins is so good inside, but the Turner's going to nail something from that side. Were you surprised? Well, there was only 3.9 seconds to go or 2.9, whatever it might have been. I mean, you know, you're going to get the shot you get. And for, for that amount of time, they got a, a great look. It just didn't go down. And, uh, you know, Antoine Lillard, he's shot the ball really well from three this year. He's had a good season. And tonight it didn't go. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't meant to be for them, and it was meant to be for us. And for me, you know, watching, we really emphasized for the last two days what we would call playing the right way on both ends of the floor, covering up for each other defensively. We had our season high in blocks tonight. Um, covering up for each other defensively and moving the ball offensively. And again, we didn't score a lot of baskets, but we assisted on almost 50% of our baskets, which is more than what we had been assisting on. And there were some big plays that came on assisted baskets for us tonight. So that was our emphasis uh, over the last couple days. And uh, I, I think sometimes when you do the things you're supposed to do, you know, the bounces sometimes go your way. And tonight they did. You asked, uh, I asked the players about Turner. I'll ask you a question, uh, comment on him. Is he one of the best players that you have faced this season in the MAC? Well, listen, there's a lot of good players, um, but he's certainly, you know, amongst them for sure as a freshman uh, to play as well as he has over the entire season. Um, he, he's he's certainly in the running for freshman of the year. I'm, I, I, you know, off the top of my head, we're playing on Tuesday, another one who's in the running uh, yes. in, in Nike, uh, Sabati. And uh, last week we played another one who's in the running, I'm sure, uh, Kirk. And there's a lot of good players in this league, and Justin Turner certainly uh, amongst, you know, the better ones for sure, and, and, and absolutely as a freshman. Back to Avery real quick. I mean, in that situation, you put the ball in your point guard's hands, understand. Yeah. Do you feel a little more confident now putting him in this game? 
Well, I know he's a great free throw shooter, right? I mean, he he's 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 been a great free throw shooter his entire career. Um, you know, if you remember back to last year when we beat Akron at Akron, the only two points he scored the entire night were two free throws to ice the game. He hadn't scored the entire game, and he made two free throws to ice the game. So he, he you know, you expect him to make them. Um, he also is a great, uh, you know, he doesn't turn the ball over very often. So he's great at taking care of the basketball. So, again, when you need to get a shot, you know, who who else would you want more than him handling and making the decision for us? And, uh, again, you know, I, I know that if they had all come to him, he would have kicked it to Jalen Walker, but they didn't. And, um, you know, he made the play that, that, that you need to make. You know. Talk about surviving. I mean, you had uh, Zob Landy the rest yeah. of the minute Yeah. Yeah, no question. And, um, you know, it's it, 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 it was – you know, at the end, you're just trying to hold on. And with them getting all those rebounds, we had four guards in there. You know, Danny's blocking all these shots, and they have Wiggins and uh, Coke. And, you know, they got some big guys in there. And, you know, we, we may have not done a great job rotating, but we, we were all trying to fly in there to get the rebounds. But, uh, you know, they're big and physical, and they're a great offensive rebounding team, which they've been all year. So it's certainly in league. So. You know what? We made the plays. We made enough plays that you needed to make, and I think uh, it's a credit to our team for, you know, to me continuing to fight and try to play the right way the whole way through. Anything else? Thank you. All right, fellas. Thank you. See you Tuesday. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Great, Sam. Love this.